What we're going to be looking at is the new project management uh, feature that's been added to Asana. It's a uh, status update feature. Uh, so they already had an existing feature, but this one's just been a little bit more enhanced. We're going to go over it at a high level. Um, so I'm on a sample project here in Asana. Uh, I mean, I'm, on, I'm on my list view. Uh, I've templified this a little bit, and I've, I've uh, completed some different tasks just so we can see things route to the update a little differently. But this is just our standard list view. Uh, here's the board view, timeline view, where you can obviously see all your tasks in line. Uh, calendar as well, and we're going to flip over to progress. Uh, so once I'm on progress, you can see here that this even looks different uh, since they've pushed out the update. And if I hit this update status button, it's going to take me to the menu where I build that uh, status update. Uh, you can see here that there's a little toggle as well that I can remind myself to update projects every Friday. If that's a requirement for your business, I think it's uh, uh, actually pretty nifty. Uh, so here we'll say update status, and we'll just change this to on track. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the items down in uh, the status update. So uh, right off the bat, you can see that there's these areas where you can drag and drop highlights uh, onto the status update. So each one of these are just different categories of tasks. So you know, eight tasks that are overdue or upcoming, zero that are overdue five that have been completed, it gives you a widget for all those different classifications of tasks uh, within your project. And up here, I can play around with the time range for a little bit. Uh, so if I want to change it to three weeks or four weeks or one week out, uh, I can just start to mess with this setting here and see that these cards dynamically align. So if I look at the existing update that I have here, um, the, the standard out of the box kind of setting is we have a summary what's been accomplished, what's blocked, next steps. Now, all these sections can be customized. It's not, uh, you know, by no means does it have to stay this way. You can move their order around. You can add new sections if you check this down here. Uh, and you can also leave notes, which I find pretty useful for each one of these sections. Um, and the real cool feature that we looked at before was these cards. You can drag and drop them uh, wherever you'd like. So depending on the way that you have your project cadences, uh, you can change these sections and, and move all the tasks around uh, wherever you see fit. Um, so you can see here, when I'm looking at what we've accomplished, it becomes pretty useful to not have to take notes on everything that's been accomplished, but you can actually just drag the completed tasks into this section. Um, what they have laid out here is a what's blocked section. This is pretty useful, you can bring out anything overdue or pending or needs approval. Uh, and then you have a little window into the next steps. What's the project looking like moving forward? Uh, and you can leave notes once again on this section as well. So pretty straightforward use case here. Uh, and you can even title your update. So when we go ahead and post this, you see we have a status update of May 14th. Uh, I have all the little sections that I have just added here. Uh, and at the bottom, you'll find this area here. So what this is asking for is for us to add collaborators. Right now, I just have a test project, so I don't have a collaborator on here. But anyone that's going to be included on this uh, project, uh, we can make sure that they also receive uh, the kind of alerts and are, and are keeping track of the status updates to this project. Um, so I think it's a, a very cool enhancement that Asana just released. I think it's definitely going to add... Uh, a lot of value for, uh, you know, companies that are running a traditional project management cycle uh, out of Asana. Uh, and hopefully this just gives you a little overview of the recent feature.